Hey, welcome back to uh, the Daraja API, the Mpesa Daraja API with Django for Python. So Django for Python. So now I want to show you on how you can integrate the SDK push. The SDK push. Let me come here to the APIs. SDK push is an express payment. You can see it is it is also known as Mpesa Express. So this is where you trigger an SDK push. Then the user can enter just his Mpesa pin or her Mpesa pin then he sends to the he sends uh, the money to your pay bill or till so this is how you integrate it so first we are going to do the stimulate i will stimulate the sdk push so that you can see in my phone then i will complete so for us here in our code i have already created the function that will handle the sdk push this is which is here uh, this is which is here and remember that the code will be at my github make sure you start the github repository and just follow me on my github so this is where uh, this is the whole function that will handle the uh, the sdk push now i'm going to remove this i'm going to remove uh, this the uh, this till the business shortcode so that you can know where i will, I will show you where you can get the, the one that you are going to use for sandbox so this is what you need to do now the next thing uh, that you, you will have to do you will come to your apps here your apps and not your the api is here then you will click here stimulate so that we can get all uh, everything that you need to do and you need to add to the code so that it can work with your app so select the app that you created on the first video if you didn't see just go and see and how you create the first and then do this uh come here to this take this uh party b party b is the short code this is which the one that we had deleted so that i can show where i, I got it then you come back and get the pass key the pass key in order to get the pass key this is how you get it you can just come here sc scroll here down then copy the pass key and then come to here and paste it here then the next thing you're going to do just uh the thing that you need to add you need to add the phone number eh? for me i will write two five four six uh two five four two five four then uh sixty eight one sixty uh one sixty eight zero sixty then i'll save then i will write amount as one shilling now i'm uh, i want to add uh uh the route and the views that will that will lead to this view here so i will do this i will come here to my url i'll add a path the path that i'm going to add is the one that will handle the sdk push so it will initiate this function when i run it on the browser then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to add here the view that will handle it in order to locate where there are uh, the the file is this is our error syntax you know this is git copilot is the one that is doing this from the enter so this will reload uh, this function which is located at this file sdk push dot pi now i'm going to share my screen here let me run this application here i'm going to show you my screen so that you can uh, i'm going to show it so that you can see on how the sdk push will appear in my uh, in my will appear in my phone so let me first set up the, the app i don't know what's up i think my phone had not been plugged in correctly now let me do this so this is that that's how I've, I've already launched the app this is my phone you can see when i scroll you can see it's visible then i'm going to do this i'm going to go back to our code then take the url here this url which is here then i'm going to come uh here to this app then paste this then before i reload i will uh, reload then uh, let me remove this browser so that you can uh, so that you can see you can see how you can see how the sdk push appears so then share the screen so here's the screen i'm going to set it here then i will reload when i reload uh what's the error let me see the error that is showing me here we have view access token generate path so 
what's up i don't know what's up uh-huh here access token oh this is where it's wrong i will do this then come back and reload it again and share the screen I reload it I reload so that we can see here uh, that's the sdk push you can see now the sdk push has been uh triggered successful this is where i can just enter the pin and complete the reason why i'm getting this is because i had included uh this i had included this uh this access token here i've included in my sdk push here but we can echo uh we can, here i had included the checkout id which i get from from the i get this is the checkout id but also i can I can also get the response as itself uh, that's the result code you can echo everything here here in this so that when you reload you will get everything that you need in order to do whatever you want to do with your SDK push and then you can do that once again and you see it's still happening here with the result code and everything now that's how you integrate the sdk push into your website now i'm going to explain the query and also how you can store the uh, the successful transaction into your database so see you in the next video